For several months now, I have been having this recurring nightmare. It's not always exactly the same each time I have it, but for the most part, this is how it plays out. I'm walking with my son on a long dock. We're carrying fishing poles in a tackle box. Presumably we're going fishing. In addition to all the prerequisite items that one would normally bring on a fishing trip, I'm also carrying a bag of our favorite sandwiches, something we can eat later on. As we're walking on this long dock heading towards the boat, the first thing that strikes me is how quiet it is. It's not to say that anything about the surroundings seems strange or uncomfortable. The weather looks beautiful, in fact. It's just extremely quiet. We seem to be the only ones on the dock. There's only one boat, the one that we plan on taking. It really doesn't look that impressive. Just a very small, simple boat. The kind with a cabin that you can go inside that has a door on it. We head over to the boat and start loading our things on before climbing aboard. To be honest, at this point in the dream, I'm not sure if we're on a lake or if we're on the ocean. The surroundings do look familiar, so I sometimes assume that it's the lake near my house. But again, I can't really be certain. We head out on the boat and start making our way out. Within only a matter of minutes, we seem to be very far away from any land. It's at this point I decide that we should start fishing. I look at my son as he starts baiting his hook and he smiles at me. He looks genuinely happy. Taking him on a fishing trip is something I had planned for a very long time, but we never actually had time to do it. But in this moment in the dream, I feel happy as well, because it seems like we finally made it. We finally took that long planned fishing trip. I start baiting my hook as well, and we cast our lines into the water, and we sit and wait. I'm not really sure how much time goes by. Sometimes it feels like only a few minutes. At other times when I have this dream, it feels like hours go by before anything happens. But at no point do we seem to catch any bites. Everything's extremely quiet. And again, I feel very happy. It's around this time that my son looks at me and says that he's hungry. And feeling pretty hungry myself, I decide it's time for us to eat. We take a few sandwiches out of the bag and we sit inside the cabin on the boat while our lines are still in the water. As we sit there and eat, we keep an eye on our lines to see if we get any bites. But every time I've had this dream, we never do. I take a few bites of my sandwich and I look at my son. And again, he looks so happy. He smiles at me and says something along the lines of, I'm having a great time, Daddy. Thank you for taking me fishing. And I just say you're welcome. I'm happy we got a chance to do this today. We finish eating and we go back to attending to our fishing poles, which again, have no activity. No bites. Again, everything is just extremely quiet. Everything about the water looks strangely calm. I've lived near a lake my whole life and I've never seen the water look like this before. Normally the further you get out from shore, the choppier the water tends to be. But the weather is beautiful. Everything is extremely serene and extremely peaceful. You might ask, how could this possibly be a nightmare then? Everything about this sounds so amazing and so relaxing. Well, this is about the time that the dream changes. We start to feel the boat rocking. It's gentle at first, just like when you get some passing waves but then the rocking starts to get a little bit more violent. I look off in the distance and I can see what appears to be storm clouds gathering, and then I notice the distinct rumble of thunder in the distance. After a few moments of this, I can see lightning. My son looks at me, but not in a sad way. Again, he looks extremely happy. And he says something like, Daddy, I think we have to head back now. It's gonna rain soon. And I agree. We really should be heading back. We don't wanna get caught in the storm. I go to start the motor and I notice that it's not responding. 
I keep trying to pull start it, but I get nothing. I open the gas cap and I realize it's low on fuel. So I reach for the jerry can to fill it back up so we can head back to shore. I can hear a little bit of concern in my son's voice as he asks me, Daddy, is everything okay? It's at this point that I lie to him. I tell him everything's fine, but I realize that everything is not okay. Everything is not fine. The jerry can that was supposed to be full of fuel is empty. I realized that I had forgotten to fill it up before we headed out. The boat starts rocking a little bit more violently as the winds pick up. But now, it's starting to rain. And I don't mean little drizzles or anything like that. I mean it starts to pour. My son and I head inside the boat cabin for shelter as the waves start to pick up and violently hit against the side of the boat. My son looks at me and he appears to be extremely sad and concerned. And he says, Daddy, I just want to go back home. Can we please go back home? Please just start the boat so we can head back to shore. I tell him to stay inside the cabin as I head back out to try the motor again, which still isn't responding. I notice at this point that the boat is starting to fill with water. The waves are getting extremely high now, and the rain is non-stop. I try frantically to bail the water out, but to no avail. It seems like it's filling up in the boat faster than I can possibly pump it out. No matter what direction I look, I realize we're very far from shore. I can't see a shoreline anywhere in sight. And when I look to my left and right, I realize that I never put an anchor down. The whole time we had been out there, we had been drifting. The boat is really taking on water now and I realize we're going to sink. I go back inside the cabin and my son is crying. I can tell he's terrified. And again, he pleads with me, Daddy, please. I just want to go back home. Please, take us back to shore. I want to go home. When I go to look for life vests, realizing that we're going to have to get off the ship, I realize to my horror that I forgot to pack them. All I can do at this point is put my arms around my son and tell him I'm sorry. He puts his head really close to my ear and he whispers, What, Daddy? What are you sorry for? What's happening? I open the cabin door again, and I realize now that the back half of the boat is underwater. I put my arms around my son again, and I close my eyes, and I start crying. It's usually at this point that I wake up screaming. Sometimes the dream ends on a happier note. Sometimes a passing by boat will come and rescue us. Sometimes it's the Coast Guard, or sometimes it's just a passing fisherman. But most of the time, it doesn't end that way. I don't know why I have this nightmare. I don't know what put this thought inside my head. I just wish to God I could stop having it.